This is 400 shots in World of Tanks. In the last episode we bought the Minotauro. So now it is time to show you my first game in it. Can we really bully our way through this game in the mighty Italian TD? He will not be peaking anymore since he has already lost most of his HP. Hopefully we will last a bit longer. And based on the matchmaking I would say we should do pretty good. That T-54 is not doing so good though. Hopefully I will be able to avenge him. No luck on hitting the LT-432. Oh well, let's move up. I want to get to the middle of the map to maybe catch out any enemies that are falling behind. We do take one shot from the LT into the side, but that is fine, because now I can bully this Cobra. Yes, just stay in the open and take my 560 alpha damage shell. Where this thing shines is being up close, and for that we need to find some more enemies. Let's move to the left side of the map. There seems to be plenty of enemy tanks there. Thank you, Artie. Perfect timing to track the LT. Now I have the time to aim and set him on fire. And it looks like he has no repair kit. Uh-oh. But he actually does get one into my lower plate. And that is convenient. I don't even need to waste my shell on him. Now let's see, what do we have around the corner? Oh, hello. That was a quick third person shot from me. Unfortunately, it didn't track him. And the T-95 is joining the fight as well. But I really want to take the CS out. It cost me a shot from the T-95, but it was worth it. This way I only have one tank to focus on. Oh, come on! The Cobra as well? I really didn't expect him to be here. Okay, this is not fair. I'm getting targeted from everyone. Luckily, the Cobra bounces, and I just managed to remove him from the game. But no time to rest. The Doom Turtle is coming. My best bet is to face hug him. It works out. He bounces, and I'm trying to go for his cupola. Stop blocking it, you bugger! Maybe if I pretend to look elsewhere. Ah, yes. We get one in. I don't like that he is reversing, but I have no choice. I have to keep hugging him. And just as I feared, we take one from the campers in the back. Yep. Just as expected. We do still manage to put one last shot into the Doom Turtle. But in the end, both the Artie and the Scorpion managed to take me out. I think this is a decent first game for the Mino. 3,200 damage, with 2,400 blocked. My team managed to wrap it up in a win at the end. Mostly thanks to that RHM, who had a monster game by the looks of it. But let's switch things up a bit and take my taxi for a spin. My taxi is none other than the legendary KV-2. Don't worry, we will still talk a bit more about the Minotauro in one of the games later. But for now, let's take a look at why the KV-2 is one of those tanks you just have to love. If this derp gun manages to penetrate with an HE shell, that means 910 damage to the enemy tank. Well, that light was taken out rather quickly. But let's see. Can I also punish someone for their mistakes if they cross here? Looks like no one is silly enough to cross over to the balcony. So let's see, anyone here? There is the tiger and I can't resist it. And luckily, I was not punished too harshly for that peek on the tiger. I got lucky because I pushed way too far there. This tank can actually block some shells with its hull. It is the exact same hull as on the KV-1. It's just a shame that the turret is the place where everyone aims for. Luckily, the Artie was not quite accurate enough this time. But unlike the KV-1, this tank is a lot more fun to play with. Mostly because of its big and inaccurate gun. But today, it's plenty accurate! We one-shot that poor T-3485! Yay! Quite a lucky shot that was. Don't forget that the accuracy truly is horrendous! With dispersion values at 0 0.55... Now it looks like someone is spotting us all the way from the bushes over there. And I'm thinking of blind firing, but oh hey there! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so 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 sorry dear STRV. That was quite filthy. Two one shots in a row. Now don't let this game deceive you. One shots are not a common occurrence with this tank. Honestly, they are kind of rare. But in those few magical games when they do happen, it just feels right. Now let's give a little surprise to the tiger here. Now this is unlikely to penetrate. Or not! What in the world of waffles? I'm happy with this. However, I truly didn't expect that one to penetrate. Just imagine the shock of that Tiger Driver when suddenly half of his HP is just gone! Now I am a bit worried going forward here, especially because of the campers at the back, and another Tiger approaches, not penning the turret this time. And it's nice to see we seem to have a bit of support from our allies. 
You cannot always rely on your teammates in World of Tanks. But this time they managed to help me take the Tiger down. Now where is this third Tiger? That is an unusual matchmaking, three Tigers on the enemy team. However, there is only one remaining. And here he is proxy spotted. Oh, Blimmin' M12, can you please stop shooting at me? Another one? This is bad, this guy has a vendetta against me. Why don't you like me, Artie? Huh? What did I do to you? And now this KV-3 is blocking me. I can already sense another Artie shell flying towards me. For heaven's sake! Leave the poor taxi driver alone! Just look at how they burned my taxi to a crisp! Can't deny though, this game was quite enjoyable. Three penetrating HE shots, putting us up to 2,615 damage. That actually ranks us as the top of our team, earning 969 base XP. Now that's what I like to see. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. The next game is in the T-32 on Erlenberg. Coming from the days when the T-29 was really OP, then switching to the T-32 was a bit of a disappointment. But there is no use reminiscing about the old days. I should mention I still have the stock gun and the turret on my T-32, so things will get even better when I unlock all the components. Hmm, that one seemed to go right at the Scorpio. I wonder if we hit a tank that was in front of the Scorpion. The stock gun will handle the sight of this M2Y just fine. If the shell would go where I aimed it. Now the second one should surely connect. It does. But I'm also spotted. Hey, wait! That guy was not on full HP! So we did hit him instead of the Scorpion before? Cool! But I'm in a bit of a precarious position here. My sight is kind of exposed. But those tanks in the open are just way too tempting to leave alone. Looking at the dead Caprosa makes me think how that entire US heavy line seems to be a bit of a joke. They do look funky, however. So if you are into the funky slash ugly tanks, you should love that line. Oh, this bugger of a gun. What is this? Unacceptable behavior. And here we have the STA-1. That is more like it. Straight through the turret, not even fully aimed. Ah, uh, yeah, I really need to get that upgraded turret. The upgraded one actually has at least 300 millimeters of armor. And even the cupola is well armored on that thing. That turret and the better gun should really transform this tank into a much more formidable opponent. Our team seems to be advancing. Oh, and the STA is on the move as well. But unfortunately, my shot gets eaten by the tracks. I should have waited and aimed better there. Okay, so this game is looking like a win based on what I see from the minimap. Oh no! Where did you come from? I didn't expect a T-29 to be pre-aimed on that crossing. Well played, mister, but you probably shouldn't be sitting there so exposed. And let me help this IS-2S, he is a one-shot, and I can afford to take one from the Scorpion. I don't exactly want to fully go in, however. Whoa, 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 I don't like the look of this! The double barrel boy is here. Heck, I didn't manage to track him. Maybe I can get him through this tiny window. Apparently we will not get the chance to continue fighting because the scorpion with the flanking maneuver manages to shut me down. And it looks like I was wrong. This is looking more like a loss at this point. Yep, it ended in defeat. Considering this is not even a fully upgraded tank, I managed a decent score with 2,454 damage. Also well played to the enemy Scorpion. 4,300 damage with 3 kills? Nicely done, mate. Now let's return to the star of this video, the Minotauro. This time we land on Empire's border. Considering this tank plays more like a heavy than a bush sniping TD, there is only one reasonable direction to go, and that is the left side down the K-line. Upon release, this tank was extremely feared for its crazy armor. Now I'm not saying its armor is not good, it remains crazy, with its turret and upper hull never dropping below 350 millimeters of effective armor. If you use any gun depression, it just becomes impenetrable by everything. As you saw there, its gun sometimes just decides to not hit anything. Its dispersion values of 0.42 really aren't good. Of course, when I talk badly about the gun, it hits exactly where I aimed it. The other thing about the Mino is that it heavily relies on having allies nearby. Trust me, flanking this thing is easy. Even with the Bond Turbo installed, this tank is a real slog to turn around. 
I'm looking at the situation on the battlefield in front of me, and I'm not exactly thrilled. We seem to be outnumbered, and the enemies have slightly better positions. Just look at how many there are. It's like an anthill over there. There are so many I don't even know who to aim for. And to make matters worse, they are hitting my roof! You see, you can easily get penetrated, you just need to know where to aim. Hitting the cupola on the Minotauro is something pretty much everyone can do. And of course, the lower plate still exists, which understandably gets penned by everything. And look at the situation I am in right now. No allies left. It is a one versus seven. Will I manage to survive? Well, if my shells keep missing the easiest shots, it is not likely. At least we are bouncing some shots. There are no terrain undulations that I could make use of and utilize the 10 degrees of gun depression this tank has. So all I can do is hope to trade shots as well as I can. Another bounce. I like it. And I can go for his tiny ear. Oh no, the crayon is behind me. And he gets my ammo rack. Okay, yeah, this fight was never going to go my way. If you enjoyed and want to see the next 100 shots, make sure to like and subscribe.